a great book called $100 million Offer by Alex Ramosi, but they talk about the value equation. On the top side is, are you going to get your result? And then how likely are you? And then divided by the effort and the cost. And they said, most beginner people always focus on this top thing, massive value. You're going to get it. I 100% guarantee, but they never focused on the bottom half. And then the expert companies, the ones that crush it, focus on the bottom half, which if I can bring anything down to zero, it becomes zero in terms of effort. So Amazon, why did Amazon win? Because they have a one button click to get a massive output. I do one click and then at my door in three hours, something shows up or Instacart or any of these things. Low input, massive yield. And I feel like when you're talking about this in terms of value creation, you have massive value creation with almost next to nothing in terms of input. Type into a system and then what would normally take hours for a programmer or hours for a copywriter, hours for anything, you just you put it in on that low side and then it becomes so much more easy because that cost, the time and the effort and all that stuff drops down to next to nothing for us to do this. It's very interesting to see. And again, that's even though that's the optimistic outlook on this, it still means that if you're the humans that aren't changing, aren't evolving with this, you're going to be left behind. If you still only want to write code with your punch cards, if you still want to farm with your hands, unless you do branding, you're like the one authentic person that you make your clothes with your hands and everyone respects that, you'll be basically kicked out of the, this productive society. So you have to keep evolving. There will be transitional disruptions, especially people who are maybe more elderly that either they don't want to or they can't really transition to something they will suffer. I think that is a real problem, but then it will open up way more opportunities for everyone else who's evolving with the times. That's why I say companies should jump into it, headstrong, learn it, evolve with it, grow with it, because then more opportunities will show up in the future.